We got Duggo's first day back after uh, knee surgery. He's been laid up for a couple of weeks. Looks like he's on the phone. When he gets in here, I'll show you what kind of condition he's in. Looks like you're doing great. Should have seen me before. <laughs> it's an adjustment. Oh my. Right. I'm glad I'm down to one. Have your legs got skinnier? Yeah. These are my skinny jeans. <laughs> They're actually flex. Or there's something else. Amy made me get them about 10 years ago and well, now I finally get to use them. The brace fits nicely on them. Oh yeah. No fast records today here. <laughs> Aren't you using your crutch on the wrong side? That's what I told a PT lady, PT, physical therapy, PT, right? Right. And I put it in my right hand and she says, no, you need it in your left. I said, why? Well, because you want to put some weight on it now. So I'm to the next level of healing, you know, overachiever. What is, what is it? <laughs> it looks like you're healing quite yeah. well. Uh, it's morning, nothing is moving too quickly on me yet. Oh. You better do as I much call, PT as I possible. I call shotgun. Oh boy. Should I back up so There's you can stay there. on the cement? Do you need help getting in here? I don't know. Boy, we got height here. Let's see here. Take that. Jay. Oh gosh. Just forget it. <laughs> ah, now the old peg leg I got on. <laughs> Do this thing. Nice pretty buttons on there. Got on, snap them. Okay, go slow. How bad does that hurt? Oh, it doesn't hurt the as bionic much. The bionic man. It's just so stiff. <laughs> so stiff. Huh. I'm sure the guys that have had this, some of them are saying, oh, come on, suck it up. And the other guys that have had trouble with it are saying, ho, oh, oh, ho, I know all about that one. So you had meniscus surgery. Yeah. They cut some out of you? They did. They had hoped to repair it all, but it must have been too jacked up in there, so they took some out. Well, normally when you do it, you do it good. I guess it's better to have the surgery, or it's easier to recover when they cut it out. Because then the, the stitched up stuff doesn't have to heal. They just cut it out and two days later, from what I was told by the doctors. It's quite warm in here. All right, so we are heading to Millbank, South Dakota to pick up something that we're putting on a different trailer, but we got to use this one because that one's buried in the shed and a bunch of stuff on it. So. We got him out of the house. I'm sure mom appreciates that. Yeah, she had this funny smile on her face <laughs> when I walked out. <laughs> We've switched spots. Tried to go to the DMV to take care of some paperwork and they weren't open. Guess so. why? Take a guess why the DMV was closed. Are Computers are down. Computers down. Look at that. There's an Air Force 2. Yeah, that's not what we're here for. I oh, see I what see we're it. here for. I see it. But we're at Kibble and Mill Bank. Oh my, their yard is just like ours. <laughs> Look at all the shiny paint. All right, so what we have here is something to keep me safer this spring. So as you've heard me talk about replacing that seed tender on our corn seed trailer, well, here's the upgrade. Yeah. What do you think? Looks expensive again. <laughs> uh, actually, this is a demo, Duggo. It's a demo till you buy it. Yeah, that's how it always starts. Oh my gosh, camera down. Well, just like that, 
we're strapped down and we maybe better go talk to somebody and make sure there's no paperwork that we need to sign. They'll never know. <laughs> okay, you, you hobble back in and get in the pickup. What was that? I don't know what does that. It's hissing like a mad dinosaur. <laughs> okay, so I'm driving or yep. you driving? Yep, you I'm drive. driving. Well, then, you, then you're liable. <laughs> I suppose. Drive away, make it look like we're not going to stop in the office and <laughs> sign for it. We'll stop in, don't you worry, guys. But Dad's we'll seen something here that it's bringing back old memories. Yeah, and in fact, I think, no, that ain't ours, but we had one just like that. Well, not just like it, but 12, uh, 1760, 12 row 30 inch corn planter, mechanical fold but we did spring for the extra hydraulic back in the days. It was a few thousand more, but that's what, uh, that was our first new planter we ever bought. And boy, did we think we had some. Pulled it with a 4255 that we I bought. I remember that thing. Bought from my grandpa when he retired from farming. Front wheel, no front wheel no assist. No front wheel assist. It was quad range, uh, 4255. That was a nice tractor. We should have kept that one because that was a nice one. Loud. Motor, snappy, very snappy and all thing. Yeah, that was, uh, got rid of the straight. We had a straight 12 row 30 that did not fold. And if you wanna, you wanna see something, you try to get yourself around the countryside going down the road, 30 foot planter, markers hanging out, cause back then the markers were all goofy. The, uh, you'd have to see it there. For those of you that know, you know what that's all about. Signs in the way. Take the sign down and oh my! Oh, it was something. We did finally splurge for an end wheel transport like two years before we traded it. We added that to it. Okay, so. before you get us into the rhubarb here too deep, remember yeah. we got two wheel drive. Two wheel drive, yeah. That'd be humbling. Yeah, yeah, guys, can you come pull us out of the drift? No, it ain't gonna be the last time that that would happen. I've been there, done that up and. Wapatin with my pickup many years ago. Get a little closer. Let's go look at that. Right down to the frame I went. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one. That's used too. It looks like it. Dale! Let's go ask him. This is a nice corn head too. Brand new folding. I think huh. he's been holding out on us. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't clipping any unload augers here with your big... Would that just be the... Oh, you missed that one by four feet. That's okay. Oh, no. No There's worry. actually stuff on the lots. I can't believe it. Looks like the guy hauling it lost the top of the hopper. Blew it off. It's in the ditch somewhere. Kind of got hung up back there a little bit. I seen that. I thought we were gonna be stuck. Four wheel drive. Well, an hour and a half later, we're out of here. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Okay, now we gotta find something to eat. <laughs> what Plenty. seems to be the issue? Well, I've heard it before. A loud popping and then a funny little hissing, or as the tire rotates it. <laughs> <laughs> well, somewhere, this one blew up. As you can see, it's squatting. It's definitely low. Why? The inside's good. It just can't. There. At least we're not on the trip for the MDS trip. Oh, that, that would have really, really been nice. sweet. We now could be overloaded. We're not really sure. I wouldn't know why we'd be overloaded. We just got a, a unreferred seat tender, and then Doggo stopped by and made me buy a Ranger. Right. The Polaris dealer. Yeah, that was me. Because he right. says that mine's junk. Well, yours is awful dust. The school bus <laughs> problem. Oh, you got to get this with the cab and the air conditioning. And then the other comments of, well, you might as well not even own this thing. You can't even drive it. You can't even drive it in the summer. No, you sure couldn't. <laughs> it's like this, I think I've already mumbled problems or stories, memories of that. You getting in? School bus days at Blue Buggy was just like riding a school bus. Dust coming in all the windows. Gagging, breathing, trying to breathe. I wouldn't talk too bad about it. I still gotta sell that. 
It's the best outfit that's <laughs> on the farm. I wouldn't sell that thing unless you get the right price, of course. Everything's for sale, but there's nothing the matter with it. It's never, ever had Eric drive it. It's perfect. <laughs> we better go slow here now, though, but one, one tire wonder here. I can't believe you allow your driveway to look like this. That's Dad's fault. We're literally, we've got one tire on the right side of the pickup that's doing anything. What do you think? My chest is hurting so bad right now because of all the disappointment in the last 15 minutes that I can't even talk. <laughs> Look at this cattle path. Definitely wore the wrong sweatshirt today. Didn't even wear the sweatshirt. The struggle. Oh boy. So now this spring, after this horrible winter event of what Minnesota was this year, I'm going to have to take the excavator, dig down about a foot or more down the center of the whole driveway because we have pushed and destroyed the driveway from hauling grain <laughs> and the center of the driveway is pushing up. Well, the driveway was made out of black dirt. <laughs> from back when grandpa told me the story about these when the township roads all got made there was this PC equipment where they just I don't know more or less they augered all the dirt out of the road ditch up into the road creating a mound <laughs> so all roads all township roads out here are more or less made out of black dirt which is which why is very very poor we do right you don't make roads out of black dirt but Whatever, it was the 40s or 30s or whenever the roads were made. I honestly had no idea when we left at 10 o'clock this morning that it would be 3.11 when we go back to the farm. <laughs> That's what happens when you take Dougo off the farm. It's I a whole nothing, day. Had nothing to do with that second, second thing. Oh, here we go. I might add something to do with that. And that got so loose. Have <laughs> you ever seen a guy Could've just lost it. walking in the snow? You better not bring that dirty tipped thing in the in the mom's house. She'll be very upset. Very upset. Oh, you ripped it. You wrecked it. Junk. junk. <laughs> His cane is junk. Huh. Do you know how reasonable these are to purchase? <laughs> if any of you ever need a set of crutches. Don't go talking to your neighbor or call up all the relatives like I did to see because a brand new set of aluminum clutch, crutches, guess what? $17 in some sense. I wasted time calling a few people, $17. Does that come as a pair or just a single? No, that was a pair. And then the tip looks like this that could have come in about from, five hours. That could have come from getting in the snowblower tractor the other day, I bet. Oh, yeah. So the doctor says, yeah, you're cleared to have weight on it in the house. What does he do? Goes right to the snowblower tractor. It's a chair. There's some sort of a chair in there. Think what these here would cost, would cost if you bought them from the doctor. Maybe 300 just go to your local drugstore, <laughs> Thrifty White, wherever, and buy them. Less than 18 bucks. It's a bargain. <laughs> okay, go on, buckle that other one there. If you hurt yourself, Mom is never going to forgive me. Oh, so remember when we loaded this, we had this sitting way back here. Actually, right here to be in fact. And then we stopped by Polaris and ended up picking that up. So I took the the winch, we unhooked, unstrapped it, hooked the winch up, and drug this whole thing to the front, then started the motor up, which took us about 15 minutes to learn how to run the new machine, swung the auger from the back to the front, and uh, then we backed it up just like this. And good thing she can lift 8,000 pounds because we then hoisted it up. Worked pretty good, didn't it? Well, it's a good thing nobody was watching unless the guys inside the shop there were watching us try to figure out how to, how to get the choke to go. That was quite embarrassing. It's similar to the same thing as we have, only smaller. But that also being said, 
the remote's updated from what I'm familiar with. We've got to do some reading. Got to do some reading. Yeah, this works pretty good. Works pretty good. Okay. One item off the trailer. Hey, look at there. What? The extra parts are falling out of it. That's for the spare. <laughs> what is that? That's metal. I thought it was a, pu a plastic push rivet. That'll be good. We'll collect that for later it's, it's investigations. The front suspension that just holds the front tire on, that's all. That'll fly apart at 55 now on the highway. Would you just stop overdoing it? Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, guess what, son? Guess what? Guess where that maybe came from, I bet. <laughs> Remember when I said I didn't want to take the truck and trailer to the junkyard to drop off the scrap iron? Because there could get something in the tire? Remember when I said that? Yeah. Remember when I said we should just hire a guy to come and pick up all the scrap iron? Because what we got for that scrap iron will now probably not even pay for what my new two tires. I'm going to have to get two tires because you can't run a half good one with a brand new one. Recycle. It's all about being green. <laughs> Keep the... <laughs> dig a hole. He's in a heck of a mood because he's in pain. He can't... Look at him. He moves just like he should. It's just so mad. So, I have been looking for one of these because Dad is seriously sad that we have got to upgrade that side by side. So I've been looking for one of these to order them. They're like eight to 12 months out. And I've actually found this one at a local dealership and uh, picked it up. So it is brand new, but I feel like these things should be bought brand new because of how bad they get rotted on by most people. What? <laughs> but this is my camera car for 2023 season, which is coming here for chasing equipment and getting from field to field and you know, all the things that happen around the farm. Actually, cannot believe I that this farm hasn't owned a side-by-side -side before like last year because it gets used all the time. All right guys, so we've spent the rest of the day getting this trailer in. So if you're new to the channel, that thing works just fine. It is slow, but it, it works fine. It's just very dangerous to load it. I gotta climb up in there, put the telk in there. Um, it's slow, it don't have a scale, so it's difficult to load the planter because the planter also don't have a scale where this one does have a scale. This is definitely gonna be nicer on the seed where that's a poly flighted auger, so you do get some cracked seeds. Obviously, seed's very expensive. You don't want that ruined. All said and done, we are gonna be putting this on. This is a demo unit, so we will be putting this on and talking about the features of this when we're doing it, when we figure out how it all works, because it is a little different than our other one. Brody, we've got to somehow get this off, put back on the trailer it used to be on, little fifth wheel trailer. This tank's coming off to go back up, or for the first time, go on the neck of the trailer. This has got to leave to go with this. That's got to get out of here. This new, 3955 is gonna go down on the belly. I think will be, the weight is gonna be distributed a lot better this way with the tank being up on the truck because these are very heavy for these axles. Did you follow me? Did they follow me? I lost he lost me. Anyways, hopefully you guys understood. We're gonna, obviously, gonna be some videos of this it's process. It's gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a lot of work, but it's gonna be fun. We like to build and create and design. That's how this came about. Now we're changing it up. And uh, it's 5.30, so are we going home? I think so. Or should we go ripping the new side-by-side? -side? No. No? 
You can't get it dirty. You can't get it dirty. Turkey <laughs> is dirty. <laughs> My rims. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed me and Dougal out on a road trip today. It was fun. And make sure to subscribe to watch this project all come together. See you, Brody. See ya.